All right, we're heading downstairs. Let me show you what we got going on. Today we get to put the drywall, we get the tape and texture. Um, yeah, so here we have the drywall hanger, which we purchased from Harbor Freight. Uh, we decided to do the drywall downstairs um, by ourselves rather than hire it out because it was more cost effective. Here we are chalk lining so that we can hit the studs correctly. Throughout most of the sealing process, you will only see my husband doing this for I do not have the balance skills on doing this. I don't like heights and I hated every second of doing this. It killed my neck. Um, but I did reload all of his screws for him and I do have to cook, which you'll see that in a second. Um, yeah. Cooking some chicken and broccoli, delicious. And here's my next project. I need to stain all this. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, we're almost done with the ceiling. Next, we get to do all these walls. We've got a lot going on, guys. Here's a look at the pantry. I am doing an open concept, meaning I am not having a door for the pantry. Here's the master room, which will be next. And the stairs area. We still have to do all this. And then we got to get all these holes set for the lights um, on the other side. We have it on this side, but we got to drill them for the other side of the roof. Uh, ceiling, I meant. And now we're going to get back to chalk lining the walls so we can get our screws in the right spot. And we did use a sawzall to cut down to the size that we needed. Um, usually people use an X-Acto knife, but we found it was a lot faster to just do, do the sawzall. If you were thinking of doing your own work yourself, you totally can, as you can see. We did do this in our old house as well, so we do have a little bit of experience of doing this, but it is pretty easy um, and it can be done. So don't worry, you can do it. Um, but I still recommend hire hiring this shit out because it's horrible. We hated the drywall, it was dumb. Measure, 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 cut, cut, cut. And as you're measuring and cutting, don't forget about uh, the tedious task of cutting for all the outlets. Check out the view from outside. And now time to cut for the holes for all the lights. Not really looking forward to doing the stairs part, um, but before we do, we have to take all these steps off and remount them. We gotta put the glue underneath and then re-nail them down. Make sure to sweep that area again. You don't want your drywall to mess you up when you go put it on. Now it's time to start taping. Sorry if you hear the background noise, they're installing our cabinets now. Um, and I'll get to show you that soon, so that's gonna be awesome. Um, when we did start painting, I did leave some of it unpainted where the cabinets are going, but you're not gonna see that because, you know, the cabinets will be there, so. Next, we get to start sanding. It'll be the first sanding that we do, and then we gotta go back over the tape, and then we'll sand again before we texture.
sweeping is fun. Texture time. Today's the day we get to paint the downstairs. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and like so you can see the next upcoming videos and be alerted when they're out. All right, have a nice day.